Say hello. Ashley, oh, hello She's Wednesday. Like hello Wednesday. Are you doing somersaults? Wednesday. She's oh, like, get it off of me. Goodness. But she loves to be outside, so she's willing to tolerate. It. She's a big girl. Ashley borrowed our cooler she's not today. Big. Ashley borrowed our cooler because they had field day at school today. Ashley's and, exhausted. And how did it go? I'm exhausted. It was really fun, and the kids did really well. They they were good. Come here, baby. Come here. Come back. Oh, look, you wanted to make your, look, you've gotten so big, you wanted to wait, make she's your way She's seven pounds, over. I weighed her. Oh, she's a big girl. She's a big girl. Yes, you are. Yes, she's so pretty. Oh, goodness, yeah. Yeah. She likes to open her mouth up and look. Oh, big girl. Her feet are big, I feel like. Her back feet, they look huge. Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> She's like, this is itchy. I don't like it. Come here. We've come to Harry's to eat lunch and we're actually sitting up in the bar area because you can sit in a booth up here and Ashley is on her way. We're going to meet her here, but I wanted to show you the bar because I just think it's so pretty and whatever we get to eat, I'll make sure I show it to you. She's on her way from the other side of Lexington. Ashley got fried fish and a baked potato. Kevin got chicken and a baked potato. Thank you. Thank you. And then I, it looks great. Thank you. And I got the mini cheeseburgers and their french fries because they have delicious seasoned french fries. All right, so for this week's uh, Metal Earth, uh, it's the premium series, it's a boat. This one is the USS Missouri. The BB-63, uh, this one has three sheets, uh, but it's a big model. Um, where's the difficulty? It's medium-high difficulty. You can see there's the sheets and what it makes. It does, it's not color. This one's not a colored one. This is just uh, a metal, steel colored. So um, yeah, this should be pretty cool. So I'll uh, let you see what it looks like when I get done with it. All right, so I finished the model. I wanted to show you that this used to be the biggest model I had. So that was what it looked like. This is the size of the new one. <laughs> it's quite big. It's a huge ship. But the details are pretty cool. I mean, it's got tons of little details. You can see all the guns. Let me move this out of the way. Aircraft carrier. Um, you can see all the guns and uh, the antennas and tons of guns. I'm amazed at how many guns. Not only does it have these big guns, it has all these little turrets. Like those turrets, there's little guns here. There's guns there, there's a turret there, there's guns there, there's guns here. There is no shortage of guns on this boat, that's for sure, or the ship, um, that's for sure. So I think it's pretty cool. So uh, anyway, it was pretty fun. It wasn't hard, it was just a lot of detail you had to put together so it took time more than it was hard, um, which I enjoy. I don't mind them being uh, time consuming, that's the whole point of doing them. You don't want them to be over with in an hour because, um, you know, it goes by too fast. So anyway, pretty cool. This is a cat that um, roams Ashley's neighborhood, and Ashley feeds the cat, which you're not supposed to do. Somebody else feeds you too. <laughs> He's a big boy. Your little snail has a hole in it. I know. The maintenance people call him Garfield. I call him. Garfield. Oh, call him Garfield. Yeah, because he's fat, like the one that eats the lasagna. <laughs> I like the name Timothy, though. I think Timothy's cute. I always said I'd have an orange cat named Timothy. So Ashley has a snail here. Yeah, this she has a, a snail one. here. These are the snail pieces that, like he piled up on the package. I need to throw it away. Do you want to pet him? Oh, he's he, a big boy. He, I told you he's big. His, even his tail is thick. He's sturdy. Yes, he is. He is a good boy. I think my cat. Let's stand out in the rain, and he will not care. 
I think the cat uh, on the next street over, when we see it on the walk, I think it's oh, died it because it. we haven't seen it in so long. That mancoon, mancoon no. cat, I think no, it's, it I think it's gone. There's another one that's gray, but it's not out as often. Yeah, I saw him over there. He was stalking some bird, and I was like, "Come over here and get some food." We have come over to Ashley's place because um, Ashley is cooking us dinner tonight. She's making us lasagna, but I wanted to show you this. Um, Ashley's birthday's coming up, and so for her birthday, uh, we honestly were not sure what to get for her. And then she reminded me that she really, really needed a phone. But I didn't ask for that. She I'm did not know. So no, she did not ask for this. I told but all my but were gone. She, yeah, her contacts were gone. She had lost all her contacts. I still have an iPhone. <laughs> so she wanted to get this purple phone. So you can open it whenever. Uh, but I just I wanted to show it. We haven't opened the box or anything. So and she's made this for her students for the end of the year. Girl, I bought that for a dollar off Teachers Pay Teachers. I wasn't gonna make that. Well, you printed it out. Yeah. <laughs> and she's gonna attach it to these Sour Patch oh, it's Kids. Pretty. It's a pretty purple. Oh, oh, let me show you the case I got. It came in. That is pretty. Funny thing that, um, I've got pieces of like broken snail lawn ornament because I haven't picked it up because I'm a lazy, lazy human being. Um, and when the delivery man left it, it's such a lightweight thing. He put broken snail pieces on top of it because I guess he was worried it was going to flunk. <laughs> Look. <laughs> that looks like um, she's going to she's gonna hate me for saying this. This looks like the Brady Bunch. I'm kind of fine with it. Okay. Oh. As long, now, I thought this would have circles on it like this. No, Did buddy, you know that it wouldn't? No, buddy, that's the wallpaper. That's, that's the front. The the oh, front. I really thought it was going to have circles on it. Well, it could if I choose that to be the wallpaper. Oh, I thought that was the color of it, literally. Uh, that does look like, that looks just like Jan, Marsha, and Cindy's wallpaper in the room. That reminds me of the, of the Brady Bunch, totally. Yes, that's just about the same. That's exactly the same. I mean, pretty much. It's like half an inch different. What do I do to set it up? Do I This is on Ashley's uh, dining room table. Uh, she bought this puzzle. It's um, a Disney Disney princess puzzle. So she did the outside and um, she decided she just does not want to do it anymore. So, you know, sometimes, like sometimes you get bored, you want to do a puzzle, and then you change your mind. Sometimes they're just too hard. This one's just, some of them are more fun than it's others. It's a lot of pieces. It's 2,000 pieces. So um, I'm going to take it apart. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you a f uh, two blouses that I got from my um, Ann Taylor Connection. And I say that because uh, because I have an Ann Taylor Connection, I get 75% off of anything. So this blouse would have been $64.50 and I only paid like 
15 something for it, I believe. And I love the uh, the wide cuffs on these. There's a uh, big enough, wide enough for four buttons, but these are really nice. And they're also light, so it can be even a really hot day, and you can wear this because it is so lightweight. They're almost silky. Yeah, they are silky, and I, I personally wear a cami underneath them, but you don't have to, of course. Um, and then this one was the same price, and uh, it has uh, uh, strawberries and cherries and, and uh, flowers. And uh, I just think these are these are really really nice for the summer. And this cuff also has four buttons on it too. Look at this uh, classic car in front of us. Kevin said it reminded him of uh, John Boy Walton. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's always neat when you see uh, classic cars like this. I think I would enjoy going to one of those classic car shows. So we are at uh, Target and they have a Stranger Things display. And so a lot of these things are only available at Target. So this is like a, a seat cushion? it's like a seat cushion, yeah. And then they have these little uh, bops, mini, bops. mini ones. And then they have uh, people, the characters, and glasses. Uh, these are cool. Um, what is that? Oh, t -shirt. it's a t-shirt. Cool. Oh, yeah, a t-shirt. Uh, extra large. And then they have books down here. Stranger Things books. But then, the, yeah, then they have, yeah, a light bright with special pictures for Stranger Things. And then they have more characters. Yeah, what is that cool. one with the four? The four pack? And then this one is a Target. They're like pixel. Oh, pixel those are really cool. I've never seen pixel characters in Pop Final. Mm -hmm. And then they, this one's a Target exclusive. Yeah, it's kind of like you, this finer than yours, but you have a, a Zelda. Ze yes, I game. do have a Zelda. Got on all these up here too. Oh yeah. We have a ton of them. Is there anything over here? No, Yoda. Ah, and then it goes to Yoda. We are at Kroger and they have a Dolly Parton display of coffee cups. I will yes. always love you is this cup. And then they have nine to five. A diamond in a rhinestone world. Get out there and get to living. They also love this one. And they have a guitar here. Um, then they have this one says ambition. This one says hope, love, and dream. These are salt and pepper shakers. And look at this, Kevin. Oh, that's Shape. Like a snack tray. Yeah, that's like a snack tray. And oh, look, guitar. a guitar. And then they have a, a boot and a guitar here. And then they also have like pot holders and um, towels and stuff like that. And these say a uh, Dolly on them. So these are Dolly Parton brand. It wouldn't surprise me if she didn't have her own store just like Paula Dean's soon. And I've shown you these before, but they still have them here in Kroger. Uh, these are Pyrex balls that I haven't seen anywhere else. Um, these are uh, Mickey and Minnie designs. And then they have different shapes. So if like if you need bigger ones or you want uh, long square ones, then these are really nice. You could actually put baked macaroni and cheese or something. Put the lid on this yeah. Summer. Oh yeah. And then they have new. These say new and they're Pyrex littles. Oh, yeah, that's it. And they're they're that's tiny a, ones. Like a baked macaroni and cheese for one. Yeah. They're they're tiny ones and they're they're shallow. They're not really deep. I mean, truthfully, me, here's my macaroni and cheese for one. Yeah, really. But that Dolly Parton stuff, I thought that was cute and different. Look at this LOL balloon they have up here. That is so cute. Very, very cute. And then they also have a, a Mickey and Captain America over here, too. Oh, yeah, they have a palm tree. They have all kinds of stuff in this Kroger. This is a big Kroger. This is the one that um, if you want to get different stuff, it's a good one to shop in. And this is the Kentucky section. I'll show you this stuff real quick. Um, so they have um, 
like trays to put stuff in too. And they have piggy banks, coffee cups, all kinds of stuff. Cutting boards. They also have a really nice uh, floral section in here, just like we do at the one in Winchester. So by now you all know where to find us on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Joella's, <laughs> Joella's French fries and chicken. And it took Kevin a long time today. It, it seemed like it took like 20 minutes. It but, might have, does the chicken look good? Yeah, it looks good. It's it's small, but it, it's always- They've gotten small. It's always, it always tastes good though. Kevin just installed a new um, faucet in his bathroom, and I like it so much that I asked him if he would put one in my bathroom too. S yes. Uh, yeah, it was only $49. Yeah. So it's a Fitster. Yeah, Fitster Maisie. It's only $49, and that's the last one. Um, but I like Kevin's a lot, and um, mine looks terrible, doesn't it? It's rusty. Yeah. Well, are you gonna get hoses too? Yeah. The only thing I worry about is if uh, if yours is not a three-hole sink. I yeah. If mine's not a three-hole sink, we don't know. We'll have to take it back and get a uh, bring it back and get a new one. So are you, you're gonna get some hoses? Yeah, they're right. I've never seen this in all the years we've been coming to Lowe's. I've never seen this available. This is a trellis and yeah, look, like you could put that on the porch so that you could have privacy between the neighbors mm -hmm. and you. Yeah, uh, but great. this is like, uh, like if you're on an, apar an apartment, if you're on a balcony, this would be perfect. Wonder how much they are for each piece. Expandable. $70. $70, but if you're going to be in an apartment for a while, that would be well worth it. Hey, time for another Metal Earth. Uh, this one is the Star Wars Darth Vader. This one is a big one. Uh, this is the Iconix version, so it's it, they're usually uh, pretty big um, premium models. So there's what it looks like. Um, Difficulty-wise, he's up there. Um, third from the hardest. So definitely uh, medium hard is what I would say. Um, somewhere in between. That's what it looks like. And there are, how many sheets do you get? Um, two and three fourths. So that means there's uh, there's two full sheets and a bigger, and another sheet. Oh, you can see them. There's actually three. It looks like three and a small one in there. Okay, I finished Darth Vader. And here he is. He's got his lightsaber and it's on a stand. Went together pretty decently. Some of it's kind of a loose fit, and it had nothing to do with me. It's just the way uh, the way it is. Like uh, some of the, like the head. The head's kind of loose. It's kind of wobbly, and it only has like you connect the head to the shoulders with just two little tabs, and you just uh, you're basically bending those two tabs to hold it on. So it doesn't have any um, front to side to side. It's pretty tight, but front to back it's wobbly because there's not you don't have four pins. There's only two. The two are on the side, so it's stable that way, but it's not stable front to back. So anyway, um, besides that, it's it's a pretty cool little model. Um, came out pretty close to what the picture looks like. Looks looks the same. Ashley and I have come in Chewy's for dinner, and I have actually never been in this location, and I haven't been in Chewy's in years and years and years. So there's a, we're sitting at the very front of the restaurant literally the door is right behind. yeah i will try to show you this is how it looks behind me and i'll show you whatever we order so these are called chicken and cheese ponchos yeah but we took a bunch of stuff off we took a bunch of stuff off because this is how ashley likes them <laughs> but it looks good looks good to me what are these called so I got chicken and cheese quesadillas, and then Ashley got just regular cheese quesadillas. But this is really, really good. It's just cheese and chicken, but it's it's delicious. We just finished playing. We got Ashley this Clue game, Clue uh, the Office version for Christmas, and we just finished playing it for the very first time. And so this is what the characters look like. Kevin won, of Those course. Are name Kevin always, always, always wins Clue. I wasn't even close. Like I wasn't even slightly close. Always wins Clue. It just makes me sick. 
<laughs> well, you do always win. It's ridiculous. Do you remember in Desperate Housewives, like the main plot line was that note that was like, I know what you did, it makes me sick. <laughs> so yes. you're money. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. So Ashley uh, is having tortilla chips with homemade pico de gallo, and this is salsa out of a can, she said. <laughs> and this is homemade queso. <laughs> and then she's making us lunch, so she's got that in the oven right now. When Ashley said we were having steak bowls, I did not know this is what she meant. This looks delicious. This is, uh, it has rice and steak and bell pepper. And does it have onion, Ashley? Does it have rice, I mean uh, onion, Ashley? Yeah, I see onion. And cheese, lots of cheese. It looks delicious. play Ashley's Monopoly game. This is the Super Mario Celebration game, and this is uh, one that we got her for Christmas. This is the first time uh, that she's played it, but I want, you to, I want you to listen to this. How did you do it? Push the question mark on. Oh. Are those the only three it makes? Yeah, those are the three. So this is the board. It's very, very bright. And it looks like Super Mario Brothers. And then you get all these like coins. And then these are your little pieces that you walk around the board with. And those are very nice quality, I think. They're very heavy. Yeah, they're nice. And then these are like, I guess, in place of your hotels and houses. Um, at GameStop, they had a Sailor Moon Monopoly. So last night, Kevin won both games of Clue. We played two games of Clue. I only told you about the first one, but we actually played two games. Kevin won. In this game, you don't play with money. This is for ages um, eight plus, and it's actually really, really it's fun. Much easier. And there's another yeah, sound that it makes easy. too. There's a sound because I got it. It was the game over. It goes dun 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know if it'll do it. That's power up, so you roll again. Mm-hmm. I need to get that one. I bet it doesn't do that oh, game gosh. over very often. <laughs> it was a fluke that I got it. I'm determined. Now, Ashley's determined to make it make the noise. Wait a second, we turn it off, it'll do it. There it is. There it is. So I got that one time and had to give up, what, 10? I had to give up one? 10 coins yeah. for that. But anyway, we didn't even get to use the hotels or houses because we went broke because Greedy over here got everything and won. not answered any questions from this book this is 3,000 questions about me we haven't do you know how long it's been since we've done this because a few months huh a few months for yes sure. it's been since the <coughs> it's been since the March 7th 2022 vlog uh, that I that had the last set of questions in. so we're gonna answer some of these uh, and hopefully th they're interesting um, how easy is it for you to get along with people? Oh, I get along with people really easy. I think so too. I'm going to say it very, very easy. So even though I'm very extroverted, Kevin's introverted, doesn't make any difference. Mm -hmm. We get, I still we, get along with them. Yeah, we get along with them. That mean I want to spend three hours talking to you, but I, I mean, I get along with them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, has someone ever given you a last chance and for what? Hmm. I can't think of anybody with a last chance. I've never needed a last chance. You know what I mean? I've like, this had, is the last chance. I've had, uh, um, and I think this should count. 
Um, I, I've had like those last chance emails, like Z Chocolato, this is your last chance to save. Or no. in, in stores, this is your last chance. You get that last chance to save some money. And usually... Until the next couple months, and then it, you get another last chance. Exactly. But, but sometimes that really piques my interest, and I take that last chance. If you want to think about it that way, the last time I had a last chance was when we bought, um, went to Walmart when they were moving. And we bought a bunch of junk we didn't need because it was like 75% off because they just don't want to move it. Oh, you're talking about years yeah, oh, ago. Oh, years and years yeah. and years ago. Yeah. yeah. We also did that at Big Lots. Do you remember when Big Lots was down there where Peebles used to be? And we were able to get Ashley, she was young, we were able to get her a bunch of Barbie stuff for Christmas. Really cheap. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. They were on the corner down there. Peebles is in the middle yeah. and they were on the corner. I remember them being there. I, I think there was a shoe shopping. place in there. I remember now. Walmart. But yeah. that, that I don't remember that. Yeah, we bought all kinds of Barbie stuff. That's a lot. But as far as last chance, like I've done something that's like, look, this is going to be your last chance to do this right. I, I, I've never had that situation. No, I've, no, because I don't know. Do it right the first time. Yeah, <laughs> well, or just, yeah, just do it whatever way I want to. It usually works out pretty good. Um, Something on your to-do list that never gets done. Oh, how long is this house list? Oh, wow. This list of this house. Wow. I got to-dos in this house that, I'll, that I've never gotten done. That probably will never get done. Probably won't ever get done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I could list them, but there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any, yeah. I've got to the point where I just, I need to pay somebody to do them. Yeah, you just have to say this house. And yeah. then that. <laughs> like stripping paint off the porch out front and repainting needs to be done. Oh. And staining the deck needs to be done. I mean, it's just all kinds and of And there's things. a to-do list, but then there's... <coughs> that there's a priorities you know there's certain things that have to come before other things or that we think are more important or pressing than other things so yeah that that uh, mine would be things on the computer that I need to do that, that don't mean anything yours is actually very meaningful and, and very important you know, the computer stuff you you will get done no not these because what I'm talking about that's something that's always on my to-do list is I have uh, every every picture of a food, uh, ever, a box that I take, I have a gallery, a food gallery, and that all the picture goes into this gallery. In that gallery, I have probably I don't know 30, 40 subfolders. You know, like bars, cereal, um, frozen pizza, uh, whatever. So I am taking my picture, this general picture of this food box, and I'm just dropping it over in that one main folder. It's never going into those category, the subcategory, the oh, subfolders. Oh, you're just saying you need to sort that. Oh my gosh, I need to sort that folder. I need to sort, like one says cereal. So there's probably uh, 80 pictures of cereal in that folder that need to go to that one. It's just a pain. It's a lot. And it's time consuming and there's always something more important for me to do. Okay. <coughs> What's your favorite thing to eat with your fingers? Mm, probably cheeseburger. I was going to say a sandwich. Just any kind of sandwich. I mean, it could have been pizza, cheeseburger, corn on the cob. Any of those. Although corn on the cob, I like the cob. A candy bar. I mean. Yeah, there's all kinds of them. But my favorite is probably a, probably a good, good homemade cheeseburger. Yeah, I like cheeseburgers too. Okay. Um, what is your favorite? I bet this is going to be the same answer for both of us. What is your favorite or most used cookbook? I know the one you created. That's what yeah. I was going to say. But you know, one that you didn't create, one like we bought, would have been that home interiors one. Mm hmm That has the cheese, the Did buffalo chicken Did you buy that dip. from Jennifer? No, you bought it from one of those parties you went to, probably with Jennifer. Probably with Jennifer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because they sold the big... The, matter of fact, if you look through the book, it has uh, use a such and such uh, home interiors pan for this. And, and I don't like, even know if home interiors is the thing. I don't even know if it is home interiors. It's something like that. Something thing. like that. Um, the first one he's talking about, the one that I thought we would both say the same. I agree. That's one, yeah. You could probably get one from Amazon. My mom bought it for me years ago, years and years ago for Christmas. It's called I'm Writing My Own Recipe Book. And it's basically blank. The, the top of it, there's a line yeah, for, for a name. the name and the date and who gave you the recipe. Then there's a section for the ingredients. And then there's a bigger section for the directions. 
but that is like where all of our recipes are so we just go there mm -hmm. yeah if you um, get recipes from somebody or if we get them out of a magazine out. or mm -hmm. something we use it put them in if there. it's something that i want to make over and over and over again i will transfer it to that yeah. book um because because i like it okay what food best describes your personality mm. probably a salad because i'm just all just what uh, just all kinds of stuff mixed together um, I love that. I of course, I'm pretty pretty simple when it comes to salad. I like lettuce, tomatoes, maybe a little onion. <laughs> uh, what I like everything in salad. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna say that too because I like that answer so very very much. Well, you can. I mean, a salad is a little bit of everything. I am a mixture of everything. Um, you name it, it I've probably got it in me somewhere. So <laughs> yeah, um, I like that answer. Uh, would you ever, this would be an interesting one for both of us, actually. Would you ever do a ride along with a cop? If so, what do you want to see? So our answer would be. I mean, I would, would mind driving along with a cop. Well, we have already, I thought he would immediately say, I've already done that. We I have done have, it. We both have already done that. That's what I thought he would answer. I have done that, but. The night I went, nothing much was going on. Yeah, but you, that, that's so, unpredictable. Oh, I know. I'm just saying nothing much was going on, uh -huh. uh, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, that's what I think. I um, don't want to see Jack squat. <laughs> I remember the, the night we went, we went, we just went out. Um, of course, it was the third shift, so it was really dark. And uh, we just went out shooting the gun at a tree or something for a while. Did you really? Yeah, yeah literally. I don't uh, remember you telling me that. But what would I want that? to see? I would probably want to see, um, I don't know, somebody that deserves it. You know, like, like so many times we're driving and you see somebody running a red light or cutting somebody off or... Uh, and you're like, where's the cop? Yeah. So uh, any situation like that, where it's like they do it to to the cop you're riding with and you can go, go get them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. that, that's what I want to see. Right. The night that I went out, there was action going on. Um, so I was not comfortable with any of the action going on. So I, I would prefer not to do a ride along. Yeah. Um, it's, I am... <coughs> Very, my dad uh, is retired from the police department, so I'm very respectful of that. Andrew's one of Andrew's best friends is a police officer. We love him to death, and um, so I'm very, very respectful of it. But I, I, that is for a certain type of person who really likes that um, action. My dad loved it. My dad mm -hmm. still would be out there if he could, um, but. Uh, you and he loved working eight at night till four in the morning he wanted to work that third shift because that is when all the stuff goes down is at night and yeah that is not for me so i don't want to ride along and i don't want to see anything that one time was enough for no. me so, i would do it but like i said it'd be more traffic stops for me i don't want to see anything drastic i just want i will tell you a piece of information i'm sure most people would know that are going into that field but if you do want to go into that field you can absolutely sign up to do a ride along mm -hmm. with the police officers so that well first of all you'll know is this for me is this something i want to do and uh, they'll take you along with them. You, you. Uh, I'd I, say there's stipulations. I know there's. I'm sure there are. But yeah, you you can do that, and I think that would be the healthiest thing to do if you want to get go into that because uh, there may be a lot about it, physically and mentally, that you just haven't even thought about. Um. Uh, let's see where are we at. Oh, do you think ignorance is bliss? I know my answer. Kind of. Yes. It's not bliss for anybody else, but it's bliss for you. It's bliss for me, yeah. Yeah, because if you don't know, you, you don't, don't know. know. You don't know. You don't you... know what you don't know. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, I couldn't yes. tell you how many people, students, it's like um, you you went over something, and or even me as a student, and um, they go over something and they say, is there any questions? And it's like, I, I don't even know enough to know if I need to ask a question at this point. You know, it's like, it's early. I don't even... I'm. I'm so ignorant about it, I don't know what to ask. You right. Know? That, that's why I kind of think of ignorance as bliss. It's because you, don't, you just don't know. Right. Ignorance is different than being stupid, too, though. Oh. Ignorance is lack totally, of information. Oh, totally yeah. agree. Yeah. Uh, but I 100% believe that ignorance is bliss. I think... Yeah. 
um, you can be a lot happier if you just don't know everything. Some just, just yeah. stay, if you just stay out of it, keep your distance, you'll be a lot happier. Um, are you a pacifist? I mean, I don't like war and I don't like violence and stuff like that, of course. Um, do I think it's needed sometimes? Yes. So I would say, no, I'm not a pacifist because a pacifist believes that war is not the answer to anything. Right. Um, I'll say no, I'm not a pacifist. I think there are times when you could just kick the crap out of somebody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you need? That's to justify them. Yes. What do you need to do to grow? Hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty old. I'm kind of set in my ways. I'm probably not going to grow emotionally much. <laughs> Just, you're stuck with me. Yeah. I am. Um, well, I, I was telling you, I wonder if this has, th this might be the wrong answer because I don't know if this falls into this. I was telling you just like a week ago, I said, this is a character flaw with me. This specific thing is a character flaw with me and I need to work on it. So if it's yeah, a character so flaw. So if it's something like that, okay. you feel like that's a negative thing in your personality me, or whatever. I am very <clears throat> competitive. I am extremely competitive. So I think I think that's a character flaw with me is that I'm yeah, so competitive can, that I let it get in the way. Yeah. If it gets in the if way. If it gets in the way, it's different. Yes. And it has, my competitiveness has, has gotten in the way many, many times. And so I'm going to say that's, I need to work on that. And I know um, I need to work on um, that. There's many, there's many areas in my life I'm sure I can grow in just being more um, out there and open and, and so like, although I'm pretty open book anyway um i think I you know. are when people talk to you i think you are yeah i mean as far as just giving of myself and stuff i, don't I think know. i'm already kind of i don't of know if you think if you're as open book as you think you are no i'm not saying give out my personal like my life like oh. vomit out my information or oh whatever. okay no i'm saying just being more open to conversation or oh. or um you're opinions. very it's open. like that's what i'm You're, thinking I'm pretty, yeah he's very open i don't know i mean I, I could be more outgoing and stuff that's definitely an area i could grow in but you know i fake it really well <laughs> okay um what is something you wish you learned i don't have anything i really would. i mean i wish i knew another language yeah, but see, I, I've tried to do stuff like that. I just don't have a talent. I've never it. tried. I've yeah. never even tried. I've tried so many different things because I'm willing to try anything. Um, I've tried so many different things, and if you just don't have a talent for it, you don't have a talent for You've it. never tried to learn another language with me. No, but I've tried. I went to two years of um, Spanish class and don't but remember don't any of it. But don't you think it would be fun do for well us to work it. off each other? We've never done <coughs> that in our... If neither one of us knows Spanish, we're not working off each other. <laughs> There's well, nothing I'm learning from you, you're and you're needs, not learning from me. Somebody, the blind leading the that's blind. That's right. You're not, somebody there's needs no teaching to there. <laughs> okay. We can practice with each other, but that's it. Like, did I say that right? <laughs> I thought it looked like us doing these reviews. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. It's German. I don't know how you say it. You know, this name came from Italy. I don't know what it is. You know. That's but so but is there some, I mean, I've tried musical instruments and I, and you know, some people say you don't need to, to know, you don't have any talent to learn piano. I think those people are crazy because you do have to have talent to learn. Yeah. To, I think people that have the talent are the people that are that saying say you, you don't, don't have to know because yes, you do. <coughs> yeah. You have talent. So you don't understand what it's like you have to, to be not able, have any. So like piano and I, I tried guitar when I was younger. I've tried saxophone. I mean, I've tried piano. Um, I did okay with piano. I think I've said this so many times with one hand, I could play really good with one hand or this hand, but when you got both of them together, <laughs> they might as well just been tied together because, because <laughs> I could not coordinate the two different lines. You're looking at the, the two lines at the same time, coordinating those with two hands. I just can't do it. I could not do it. <laughs> and, um, guitar, guitar is the same way. You're doing chords up here and you're picking different strings down here. I, I, I never was any good at it. Right. So. I don't know. And I've never had the desire to do anything like that. So my mom I wanted. I forgot what the question was. Uh, what is something you wish you learned? Oh. 
my mom wanted me she wanted so much um <laughs> she wanted us jennifer and i to be able to play the piano but it, i think it's because she would she have wanted liked, to exactly yeah. but i've also learned as a parent just because you want it don't don't put that off on your kids and, and you know I just, Unless it's not fair. It's not really fair at all. It isn't, but then again, I could see people that, like, they see their kids have this great musical talent. That's different. And if they we don't, had no and talent. if they don't push them, then they never develop that talent. And, you know, some of these people that are brilliant musicians would never get there if their parents didn't make That's them different. do stuff. I agree. Yeah. But that'd be like my parents trying to push me to do guitar and I was horrible at it. And the saxophone, I would just randomly, and there, dad would be like, Sounds good, son. He didn't know what the hell he was listening to either. So <laughs> now we'd literally sit there going, burp, 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 burp. Hmm, what song is that? I don't know. You know. And that's what you do as a parent <laughs> too. A good parent. You Sounding good. It's wonderful. Yes. Oh, it's wonderful. You're so talented. You're brilliant because you never want to squash the dreams. You know, this might be their big dream. And you don't dream. ever want to say anything to discourage them. So you just lie. That's just the gift that all parents need to have. It's the gift to, to be able to lie to your children. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, where's your favorite place to order pizza? Or oh, like you had to go out to eat it. You have to. <clears throat> For a while there, we would have said Old Chicago. Yeah. Last time we went to Old the last Chicago, two times. it sucked. Yeah, it wasn't good the last two so, times. So, um, um, we don't like to order out pizza. Jobalonis is good. If I had to pick one, it'd probably be Joe Bologna's, I would. I, I, I would probably say Joe Bologna's just because. Um, Honestly, nowadays I think I'd almost eat just a Motor City pizza I'd rather pizza have over a, a, yes. house to eat pizza. I absolutely would um, choose Motor City pizza over. And although you just did a lunchtime review did, of Domino's, and I liked it, and you know what? After after I ate it, because I ate more of it afterwards, I ate way too much of it. Um, after eating that, I sat there and thought, you know. This was good, but I still would prefer to Motor City. A Motor just, City just pizza. buying it at home and having it and not even set half the price. Yeah. Or less. Yeah. Um, for something that's just as good, if mm -hmm. not better. Yeah. Than what they cook in the store. Yeah. So. I've, I've tell everybody uh, that Motor City pizza is wonderful. And yeah. Kroger is just now uh, starting to sell Motor City pizza. Yeah. So we're thrilled because, to death. Because like, you know, now I did like... Um, there was a pizza place in Lexington in Hamburg that I really liked. Was it Big City Pizza or something like that? Oh, that New York place? They had pints of ice cream as well. We never did go get them. Oh, that place is really good. New York pizza, uh, New York style Kevin pizza. Kevin reviewed like it on that. his Lunch and Review channel. And it was excellent. But oh, it, it tasted is like, good. it kind of reminds you of Joe Bologna. I think it, it is like called Big City Pizza something or something. Like that. He's only been there once, yeah, but, but it I was had excellent. it too. Yeah, it was absolutely oh, it, excellent. That was really, really good. Because it tasted like a real Italian. I'm changing my answer. That's going to be my that answer. That would probably be mine, too, because I, I forgot, forgot about it. Yeah, because yeah, I've only been there that one time. And, uh, yeah, that would probably be mine. If you're local, it's around. They put a Dollar Tree right there where the Gap used to be. American it's, Eagle. It's right, right down from Victoria's Secret. And um, it's, I think it's called... Like, Burlington Coat Factory, Burlington, whatever. It's, it's right, right there across next to from Burlington. Yeah. It's really, really yeah, good. It's, it's excellent pizza. Okay, well, how much time do we have? Thanks. Okay. Um, who taught yeah. you how to drive? Oh, Lord. Three, probably three different people. Mostly dad, my dad. Mm -hmm. My uncle also taught me some, too. My uncle Spence, uh, which he's long dead. Um, not that they, you care if he's dead, but I just thought I'd mention that. Um, but he, I remember, I think I, dad taught me at the beginning, but Spence, I think, taught me to drive a stick shift. Oh, okay. Because Dad taught me how to drive in a, just a regular, like, a, I think we had an S10 Blazer at that time. Um, a Chevy Blazer. Was it S10 Blazer? Is that right? I have no idea. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it was a Blazer. So, anyway, I learned to drive in that. And then, uh, but then I got a stick shift, and my uncle taught me to drive a stick shift. 
Okay, for me, um, it had to be your dad. I, I, I honestly don't remember. Boone I had driving school. I had one lesson with Boone. <laughs> driving Boone school. driving school taught her. I had one lesson with Boone driving school. Um, Boone driving school taught Andrew and Ashley. Yeah, they did a good job. They but that uh, way we wouldn't get frustrated and get aggravated or get terrified. Um, we just let them do it. I think it's awesome that they they have driving school. Of course, you're going to pay for it, but you get a discount you, on your insurance. Too. Yes, you'll get a discount if your kids complete the program. Then, and I think there was a little questionnaire online. Um, a, a real yeah, a little easy. quiz or yeah, test or something. Yeah, then you do get a discount on your insurance. But I, it, it must have been dad. But I truly do. I can't not imagine remember. your mom teaching you. So no. it had to have been your dad. Yeah, I do not remember. And you taught your sister. Yeah, Some. I would take her out to the cemetery before she ever had a permit or anything. And I would take her to the cemetery and let her drive around the cemetery. I would take her up to the school where there was plenty of uh, room uh, to, for her to drive around. And yeah, I would let her do that in my car with nothing. But I mean, you have to practice. So, you know. If you were to ever win a Nobel Peace Prize, what do you think it would be for? Hmm. It would have to be in like science of some kind, electronics or some 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 sciencey kind of thing. Something that like you invented, or just something I've worked on, or yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm never gonna win one, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, we're just imagining here. We're pretending. Which which I can't imagine me bringing you know the globe together in some peaceful harmony. Um, you I'd know, like I, to teach <laughs> the world. To everything sing. brings on a song. Um, that's what it's like living with me. Think about living with Andrew. He's constantly quoting movies, singing songs, and he'll sing a part of a song. So like just now, I sang that part, and he wants Christina to basically hit Take it, it Christina. Yeah. She can't because she doesn't know the, the, the rest to anything. So when he gets around me, he'll start something and I'll finish it. He'll say, see, Christina, that's what I want from you. But he... <laughs> These are the people that me and Andrew are, and then you have people like Kevin and Christina that don't want don't want to participate at all. <laughs> I just give you the look. <laughs> oh, we're singing. We're doing that now, are we? <laughs> um, so anyway, Nobel Peace Prize. I, I can't imagine doing the peace thing, or you know. But I, I would like to think if I was really into that, you know, I would be I mean, do something science related or something. I don't know. You said bringing people together, and that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to say this YouTube channel has brought people. I think it's the coolest thing that you have Maria. Uh, I'm just throwing names out there. I'm not trying to. Well, pick, you know where these people I'm are. I'm not trying to, to. Yeah, but I'm not trying to leave anybody out. I wouldn't want to leave anybody out for the world because you all are so important. Examples. examples. You've got Maria in Berlin, Germany. You've got Madison in Australia. You've got Brian in the UK. You've got Bobby in California, Sarah in California. You've got Josh in Texas. You've got uh, Eric in Texas. I mean, you've got people all over that are coming to this channel and they're talking now and they see each other, you know, Hope in, Mar in uh, Maryland and they see each other and they're talking to each other in the comments and they're, um, they're from all different backgrounds and on. yeah, and they're coming together to talk in the comments here. And I think that's awesome. I think that's brilliant. That's cool. Wonderful. So that would be mine. Okay. Last question. Do, <laughs> Do you ask enough questions, or do you settle for what you know? Mm, I'm not a question seeker, knowledge seeker in people. In people. I love to question knowledge about other things. I'll read and stuff like that. But as far as questioning people, no. And I know Tammy's answer, by the way. <laughs> this could probably... No, remember... I would never sit in a room and quiz people on every aspect of their life. Remember... Like some... <laughs> People. Remember when we were talking about character flaws earlier? Uh, <laughs> that could pr maybe, maybe be seen as a character flaw as I ask uh, a bazillion questions. Of beyond people. just being friendly. <laughs> you think I'm beyond friendly? Sometimes it, be it becomes, uh, so what did you eat for breakfast this morning? So what color underwear are you wearing? So what's your favorite color <laughs> underwear? 
My, I, I, I have. If you had to clean your house, what's the dirtiest room? You know, that kind of stuff. That's the kind of things that will come up with complete strangers we just met on a bus on vacation. It's like, why are you asking them this stuff for? I have this thing. It's not that bad. Where I like to know, I don't know why, I like to know where people live. And I have always been able to work that in the conversation. So where are you from? I'm just really, really curious. And, um especially the people that are um, like from other other places that have ended up in Kentucky. You know, it's just very, very interesting yeah, what to me. What did I have that? I had a German student one time. Yeah, it's just and very you, interesting. And, and Taylor was like, how did he get here? It's yeah. like, I don't know. Kevin's like, I He's don't from know. Germany. I don't ask these students maybe, these maybe, questions Maybe like he has that. relatives here. I don't and know. Like, maybe he came here for but work. But I want to know. Him. Kevin's had students from Africa and it's like, how did he oh, end Russia up here? And yeah, all over yeah I want to know how did you end up in little Kentucky? How did you end up here? It does here? make you wonder why they came to Kentucky yeah, from all places. Why Kentucky? Why? I want to know. So I've just I've just always been curious. And it's always been interesting to I thought that was normal to want to know where other people live. And I'm talking about even local people. Like if I if I am meeting you um, I've had service uh, people come over to work on the air conditioner or something and I'll say oh so you you live in, in Lexington and they'll say oh no I, I live in Winchester oh well where do you live in Winchester I just ask <laughs> I don't see it as rude do you think that's rude no just I wouldn't feel comfortable answering just, perfect strangers questions about where I live I just like to know where people you know it's I don't know I'm trying to find I, I guess I've never around. thought about it but I guess it's me trying to find a common ground to see what we can talk about and that's just always my starting point is you know where do you come from and of course we, that's coming from an extrovert me as an introvert i'd rather just not talk to you at all <laughs> and you walk in the door i tell you that's broke and you go <laughs> fix it and then you say goodbye and they say goodbye and they leave right. that's me i don't want a conversation with yeah. anybody and, and for me i i just i just like to talk i'm yeah. that person that just likes to talk and find out about people yeah. so you um, know everybody's different though it, it doesn't i give tammy a hard time but she does ask a lot of questions <laughs> um and sometimes it's comical hearing these the people they they'll pause and they'll go do i really want to tell this woman this you know it's like <laughs> Why it's not like I'm gonna come knock on your door, and, although uh, I've you know I've been known to do that before uh, years ago. Anyway, we won't even go there. Won't even get into it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week. There was a lot of Ashley this week. There was a lot of food this week. So I like food. yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to everyone uh, for supporting the channel. Um, I'm going to roll those names as soon as we're done here and we'll see you next week. Somebody put a hot, the hot dog on my car antenna. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there and let it fall off. I'm gonna see how long it takes it. Oh, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't.